Good day, friends. There are only a couple of weeks left until Christmas and New Year, and we believe that's the best time to show you Update 1.95 Northern Wind. It brings a lot of new things, including a massive upgrade in our in-game engine, a Swedish air tree that we promised to deliver, a few first Swedish tanks, as well as a lot of exciting vehicles for other nations. Let's start with the Swedes, though. Say hi to a unique tank called the STRV-103 Zero Siri. It has no turret. Yeah, what it has instead is a fixed 105mm gun that comes with an autoloader, allowing for a rate of fire of 15 rounds per minute. The tank is also uniquely powered by two different kinds of engines, a diesel engine and a turbine. Furthermore, the vehicle can be driven by any of three members of the crew, while its gun can be operated by both the commander and the driver. The skies above Sweden will also stay safe thanks to the J-32B, an all-weather fighter interceptor. It's fitted with a Svenska Flygmotor turbojet, basically a license-built British Avon series engine, and is armed with 30mm cannons. In addition to that, it can employ up to four RB-24 air-to-air missiles and 75mm unguided rockets. The MiG-21 SMT is easily spotted thanks to its larger spine. That's where it has additional fuel storage, but the increased weight is fully compensated by a new powerful jet engine. The aircraft is armed with a quick-firing 23mm autocannon with 200 rounds and can carry different combinations of bombs, rockets and air-to-air -air missiles. The Rui Cat is an armored fighting vehicle. Its name means Karakal, a desert lynx. This vehicle has enough armor in the front to survive a hit with a 23mm shell, and its gun that shares a lot of traits with the Italian Auto Breda 7662 can easily deal with most opponents of its rank. Finally, on an even road, this little beast can reach the speed of 120 kph, a new record for ground vehicles of War Thunder. There is a new challenger ready to take part in naval battles, Admiral Graf Spee, a Deutschland-class heavy cruiser, or as Germans originally put it, a Panzerschiff, or an ironclad. Its armor is pretty good indeed. Furthermore, without going beyond the limits for cruiser displacement, Germany managed to outfit it with diesel engines and six 11-inch guns. The British media came up with a special term for vessels of this type, a pocket battleship. Then, just as promised, the game gets a full Swedish air tree. It'll become available for the players who have purchased the pre-order pack or who complete special tester tasks. Obviously, we'll be adding a lot of new aircraft to the tree in the future, and we're also planning to introduce Swedish ground forces with the very next update. That's not all. Update 1.95 drastically changes the looks of the game. Our engine now supports algorithms for global illumination that affect the way everything looks, down to the lowliest pixels. Throw in some new better effects for flickers and flames. Get ready to experience War Thunder in a completely new way. As always, the full list of changes coming to the game with update 1.95 can be found on our official site. Don't forget to watch new videos on our official channel. These next few weeks, there will be a lot of content related to new vehicles and showcasing the marvels of our upgraded engine. Leave a like. Tell us what you think about the new update in the comments below. And keep watching. See you soon.